Hello everybody, this is John from WP Mayor and today we're going to be reviewing the Cloudinary plugin for WordPress. Now Cloudinary is actually a service for image management in WordPress and even in other web and mobile applications. So we've got this website that we're seeing right now which is the Cloudinary official website where we'll find uh, things like the features, documentation, pricing and everything else while on the WordPress plugin repository you'll find the Cloudinary plugin so this plugin is actually interface between your WordPress um, website and the Cloudinary cloud-based service now the first thing you should ask is obviously why should you use an image management service so the first thing to know is that using such a service will enable you to produce tons of image manipulations and effects and we'll see these in a minute when I walk you through the plugin. Secondly, you can also upload the images to cloud-based storage thus freeing your server from um, the, the space needed to host the images. Also, due to the fact that cloudinary images are served through a CDN, you also get better loading times for your users. So let's take a look at how you can actually sign up to Cloudinary and start using this service. So obviously the first thing to do is to install the plugin from here. I assume you all know how to <coughs> install the plugin. Then we head over to cloudinary.com and you have the free sign up button right here. So all you have to do is fill, out, fill in your name, email, password, select the country and the site name or company which is optional. Create an account and you receive the details via email. Now in that email you'll also get the Cloudinary URL which you have to paste here and this is basically what makes the link between your site and your Cloudinary account. Right, so once we've got the plugin installed and connected to your Cloudinary account, it's time to start using the media library. The uploading of files works exactly the same as the default media uploader for WordPress. And once you've got your files uploaded and into the Cloudinary system, you can then start editing them. Let's take an example from here. So the very first operation I will try is resizing the image, something very, very common with all our image manipulation needs. So I've adjusted the width and as you've seen, the height adjusted accordingly. And then I hit the refresh view to see my resized image. You can also change the corner radius. So you've got these radiuses here. And we can also rotate the image. Quite good, don't you think? You can also apply effects. These are similar to what you find in image manipulation programs such as Photoshop. So we've got lots and lots of um, types of effects you can try here. For example, pixelate faces. Oh, this is very interesting. For example, this is can be very useful when uh, uploading images of people which you want to protect the identity of. So for privacy purposes, it will be very good to have this activated. And this is something that would take a lot of time to do if you had to use Photoshop or other programs before uploading into WordPress. But here, you just apply the effect pixelate faces and Cloudinary will actually identify the faces of the people in your photo and blur their faces. There's also some more options which we can explore. We can add a border, change the background. And you can also change the format. So from JPEG, I could change to PNG. This could have an effect on the loading speed of your images since 
you don't always have an optimized image with regards to the format the formats can quite drastically change the file size for example an image stored as png usually is bigger than jpeg if it is a photo of somebody or some scene whereas if it's a logo with flat colors it's also it's usually better to have it stored as gif or png rather than jpeg you can also set the quality of that format all right so that is quite uh, a transformed image we have compared to the original and the nice thing is you can also chain other transformations so we can set something else let's say grayscale so these are basically sets of transformations and you could of course remove one transformation while keeping the other so that's the the nice thing about grouping and chaining transformations you can also finally add an overlay image or even a watermark and that goes over the the image itself or under if you select the underlay layer mode all right so as you can see there's lots of operations which can be done and you can change your images in any way you imagine and this is actually the URL of the resulting image so if I had to open this URL in a new tab this is our image which you can share or you can obviously use it in your posts or pages now we can um, we can go back to our media library and we can actually create a page in which we use that image so the thing which might not be very easy to understand in the beginning is that Cloudinary does not store the different versions of the images say if I rotate it like this Cloudinary won't store this rotated image it will still store the original image which we uploaded but through the URL you can see some parameters have changed and that is the purpose of these changes is to mm, go through the Cloudinary API and the API will then take those those variables and apply the rotation on the servers of Cloudinary thus then serving the resultant image let's take an example of that so we can add a new page here and we can insert a Cloudinary powered image So we can select this file and we can apply a few changes just to see that we've changed stuff. And as you can see, the URL ha here has changed. And we can insert into the post. And once you insert it, it's there. And we can see it and yeah there we go we have our cloudinary image now if we go back to the one we had modified earlier on which was this and we paste it into cloudinary or you can use the add media and insert from url so there we go and bam. hit save and we can test again and we'll see the new image so all these images you're seeing here are actually one getting their source from one image the one image that we had originally uploaded but there are different operations being done on these images which result in a different image but they're not actually stored anywhere they're just generated on the fly by Cloudinary now as you, many of you know I'm always very interested in how plugins implement the user interface 
and I like plugins that use the default WordPress standard UI. And in this case, we've, we're seeing a plugin which doesn't really stick to the WordPress standard UI. However, I wouldn't really be criticizing this plugin that much because we have a really nice interface, which in essence quite fits quite well with, with WordPress generic general interface. And I think if they had stuck to the standard UI of WordPress, they would have run into a lot of walls since obviously the WordPress standard UI is not really designed for this type of image manipulation. So we have to come up with a new interface. So when plugins are doing something this original, it makes sense to use a custom interface vis-a-vis -vis other plugins, for example, which make use of custom post types where the interface would be much better served if they had used the WordPress standard UI. So with regards to interface, I give high points to Cloudinary because they've got everything very well covered here and it's quite easy to get the hang of, plug of the plugin without actually reading any documentation. You've also got these question marks here, which you might have noticed, and these help you understand what each option actually does. And you also provide a handy reference to the documentation on Cloudinary's website. All right, so let's take a look at pricing before we wrap up this review. So as we said before, you have a free sign up option, which gives you 500 megabytes of storage, 50,000 images and one gig of monthly bandwidth. Now, this is very, it's a very generous offer, in my opinion, although most blogs which have a number of uh, posts or visitors will will eventually outgrow this, this plan. So you're going to be moving to the 39 per month basic plan, at least, which gives you 10 gigabytes of storage, 1 million images and 40 gigabytes of bandwidth. Moving from the basic to the plus plan would, as I imagine, be useful for really big websites. But for most blogs, I could easily see them fitting in within the basic tier. With a month, monthly, this, this is the price per month, the one we're seeing now. And if you apply for a year, you get 10% off, which decreases the, the price per month slightly. Now, what about um, how worth buying this, this plugin, the services? Now, as I said before, the storing of images on Cloudinary servers means that you're saving a lot of space on your own server. So that's something to consider if you have a highly image intensive blog or website. Secondly, you'll be serving them much faster potentially than your hosting uh, would have served them since you're using a content delivery network. And obviously we come to the part about transformations. You've seen how many image transformations Cloudinary offers. So again, if you are ne needing these transformations on a regular basis, then it's obviously good to have Cloudinary handy. Else you'll be looking at investing a lot of money in an image management program such as Photoshop. Although, of course, there are also other free alternatives. However, the fact that you can upload an image and perform all the transformations online within your WordPress website is very attractive. So it might be worth paying that money every month for. It, it depends, you know. So if you're having a normal small blog, I don't think it would be worth paying $39 per month for such a service. However, it all depends on how much you use images and how you use images. If you need the transformations and if you use a lot of images on your blog, 
then definitely this is something you should look into. Apart from the price, the plugin itself is very well built. We've seen the user interface, it's very easy to use. And really, I've, I've really enjoyed using this uh, plugin and I would highly recommend it if you need image storage and image manipulation on your WordPress blog. So it's cloudinary.com for the service itself and you can find the plugin on the WordPress repository. If you search in the search plugins box, you can just type in Cloudinary and the plugin will come up. It's a fairly new plugin and we'll see how, how it goes. There are already 5,000 downloads for version 1.1 of the plugin and I expect that number to continue climbing higher and higher in the coming months.